Hello there from me, me and Nichelle Kyrie. I'm gonna walk away from him because he's trying to eat me alive. But I do have a sweet cookie. You want a cookie? You gotta say nice. Say nice for a cookie. You do ice, mama. You do gentle. You be gentle. God, boy is gentle. Anyways, just kind of want to give you guys a quick update. First of all, I'm clean. Oh my gosh. I'm sparkly. Besides not, he really needs a bath. Yes, my hair should not be wet when it's cold, but I'm about to go into the cozy cabin. Um, so for all, oh, he's like, don't leave me. But then I get in there and he'll be like, I want to go back. My girlfriend's down there. Um, anyways, uh, thank you for your love. Uh, shout out to those of you that are staying in the moment and not uh, <clears throat> looking at the big humongous picture. Um, I have not been looking at the big humongous picture, but I've had several days that were extremely hard. Um, extremely hard because I got a new doctor. And when you get a new doctor, they don't read your history. So they want to know, like, who are you? Where are you from? What's going on? And it's the same clinic. You know, it's just a different city. So I'm having to tell them about the whole homeless situation and everything like that. And yeah, I was crying and crying and crying. And she, I'm not going to say she was rude, but I think, you know, like my friends were telling me up there that, you know, after a while, some doctors just become jaded. So that's the way it is. And I'm just trying to be hopeful about it. Um, I am going to get a new case manager here. Um, so I don't know, sixth since I've been homeless even though i'm not really homeless right now because of the sweet cozy cabin um yeah so i'm real hopeful about that um i can't even think about working a job until after um i've spoken with him and i'm not going to go into f full detail about why that is um but of course i will probably at some time <clears throat> so what I'd really like to do is go live tomorrow. Um, I have to go down to the storage and I have to start um, looking at things to sell. I'm negative $7 and um, yeah, I can't be that way because I still have to get a tire for uh, the cozy cabin. I have to leave. I have to leave. These people over here, let me show you. Let me show you. Can you see them over there? They're probably watching me right now. Do you see them over there? Do you? Do you? Look. It's that. See where it says Jayco over there? They're all up on my shit. You know, Cozy Cabin isn't a sore thumb. Hello. It's Gorge. Anyways, I get, you know what? I'm going to have to go in the Cozy Cabin because the wind is getting pretty bad. But I guess they had to move their vehicle because it was out in the street so now it's like i have to supposedly move mine or i have to move mine i mean i don't have to because the police have already been here and they're like no you don't have to um but i just want to at least leave for a little bit you know i there's a lot of things i have to do so um, I, I need a tire, so I'm going to start selling my stuff on Facebook Marketplace or whatever. Um, there's nothing that I'm going to be selling where I'm going to cry about it or anything. I've already lost everything. I Well, half of everything. So, um, most of the stuff in storage, half of it um, is not going to serve me or serve my children. Um, there's a bunch of it I have to give to my children um, that they're waiting for. And... Um, you know, the rest I'm going to sell or give to the Goodwill. You know, I don't know. I just need to make enough money to get a tire so that I can take off. And my plan is to somehow get a tire and take off on the 13th. Because the 12th, I get my food stamps. And I don't give a fuck if you are going to talk shit because I get food stamps. Because I don't care. Like, I need my food stamps now. <laughs> so I can't wait. So, yeah, I'd like to uh, pack up on the food and such and then um, head out, you know, for as long as I can. Uh, Cozy Cabin's doing really good, except for the tire situation. I got it pretty much leveled right now. 
Um, so yeah, just wanted to update you all so much better today. I mean, I was fucking miserable and it's, for those of you that have depression, um, you can understand for those of you that sometimes have depression, you can probably understand, but there's a lot of people that might not understand. Um, I, if, if you watch my videos, I'm extremely work on gratitude and keeping in the moment and everything that I can do, all the tools that they teach you. And I will tell you at some time why, um, but due to my diagnosis, um, it just happens, you know, I can wake up and it just happens. Um, I was going to tell you like why it happened a couple of days ago because it was so odd to me. Um, but I'm really glad that it, I'm not going to say that I'm glad that it, that it happened, but I'm glad that I'm aware, um, of why that it happened. So yeah, just a real quick update. I know I look like shit. I could give a shit. And, um, like I said, I'd really like to go live tomorrow and just take you on out to the storage. Just show you, um, you know, the trees and the surroundings and stuff. Uh, yeah, and for those of you, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I did see, uh, one of my boys. We went down to the East Valley, um, her husband and I, and I did, um, see one of my boys, and I'm going to see them again and again and again, and also one of my boys is planning on coming up here. Um, probably not anytime soon, he is sick right now, but, you know, eventually it's gonna happen, so I just don't want them to go in the snow. Six minutes is enough. Okay. Thank you so much for all your kindness and all your love. Okay, bye.